Hi everybody. I'm uh, recording from Mud Lock. We've just finished the uh, Montezuma portion of the tour, but um, as I mentioned while we were still broadcasting, that I would uh, I, I would go on to Mud Lock on my own and record. So I'm looking at the bald eagle nest that's located here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. It's uh, still windy here, and as a result, I'm using my uh, window-mounted uh, camera holder as opposed to a tripod just to help minimize the, uh, the effect of the wind. And I think this is actually a little bit steadier than uh, things would be if I were standing outside and having everything exposed to the wind. Anyway, as you can see, there's an adult there in the nest, and it seems to be... Uh, feeding at least one of the of the chicks. There are two chicks in the nest. Um, can't really see both of them or either of them really uh, thanks to that branch. Oh there we go. Darken things up just a little bit. Not quite sure how sharp the focus is. Just so you know, um, a couple of years ago, uh, the uh, the eagles here. Uh, when they were at their prior nest, they had uh, they had chicks in the nest as late as May 22nd. I, I don't know how much they may have had them in the in the nest longer than that, but uh, my my point is that uh, obviously the chicks are still in the nest and they've got a little ways to go before they're ready to leave. could bring this whole contraption inside it might be better. Let's see if I can do that. Um, or at least a little bit more inside. Have to reef find the nest now. This uh, setup is actually difficult for me to use because, because of where everything is. There we go. And uh, it overall, 
I would have to say it's a little too heavy for this uh, this window mount. You can see clearly right now, we've got an adult and the chick. And the chick does look like it's, it's tough for me to tell, but it does look like it is still significantly smaller than the adult. I don't know for certain, but I imagine that when, uh, when a chick fledges and leaves the nest, uh, it's closer to uh, full grown. So as I said, uh, it looks like we have some time before uh, before we see these uh, chicks leave. Sorry about the wind, it's been plaguing us all day. I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like that adult is really feeding the chicks. Not much anyway. Once again, that's the wind. I'll only be here a, a few more minutes, I think. not much activity obviously yes we can see the adult there and we can see a chick but this uh, adult seems actually the adult looks like it's not really eating either it's just like tearing something up tearing up the food by the looks of things Okay, it looks like you can kind of, you know, you know, maybe once I'll be able to see it better also. It looks looks like we might be able to see both checks, and I'll, again, I'll be able to see things better once uh, I'm looking at all this on a larger computer screen. But it looks as though uh, both checks are visible, and I think what's happening is and it's, again, it's tough for me to tell. Uh, I think the adult is tearing up the food, but the the chicks are basically feeding themselves from what's torn up. Let me see if we can get this. Uh... Like I said, the uh, 
This setup is just a little heavy for the window mount, I think. So it's having a hard time holding it. Definitely see both checks now. And they, they are eating. Um, so, rather than... F it seems like largely the adult is just tearing things up, although it's obviously giving that piece there. But it's... Uh, it looked to me, from what I could see, uh, it was mostly just tearing things up and letting the chicks eat, but now it seems to be feeding one a little bit. I can only guess that it's fish on the menu. I don't know. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, mallards, I think. Stay with the eagles for now. I'm only, like I said, I'm only going to be here a few more minutes, if that. From this angle, I can just see.